So what brought you to Thessaloniki? I mean, the festival, they gave me a golden Alexander, and I think this is the birthplace of Alexander. I wanted to see it once in my life. And I happened to be out here going to this festival in Turin, in Italy. And they gave me an award for W, which you're showing tonight, and we open in Greece next week. So I hope for the best. We hope too. And you know, in the Greek alphabet, we don't have the, uh, the letter W. Uh, That's true, you don't. Uh, we mm. don't have this. And, uh, and Greeks, you know, they're not very much fond, and, and many is that, people love. Is that right? Bush <laughs> in Greece. No, oh yes, I know <laughs> that. And many people all through the world, because his presidency has been a disaster. But in the film, he, he looks very sympathetic as a martyr. I think you misunderstand sympathy with empathy. You know, it's like the Greek dramatists would walk mm -hmm. in the shoes of the protagonist. We do the same in the movie. We try to understand Bush. And we take his value, we, we are his, the movie is his story told by him in a sense. So he, he looks at the world, it's important you understand the way he looks at the world. It's easy to criticize him now. It was like shooting fish in a barrel. You know? The man has very, very low popularity. But think about five years from now, ten years from now. Think about what, how he got to be president. It's an amazing story. It's and that's alcoholic who believes well, in Jesus. Among other things, but he was a complete failure at the age of 40. And here he is on top of the world with so much power, and he changed so much. Changed America changed the way we respond to everything. We had a Bush doctrine, military-wise, economic, the Constitution. He changed so much. And uh, I think people were underestimating him, always. And they said they made fun of him. I think, but he's more powerful in the end than Nixon and Reagan. And in 20,040, I mean 2040, mm -hmm. I think they'll remember him. That's why they gave him a second chance, otherwise they wouldn't. Uh, they didn't no, the second chance is amazing because he was at that time already being accused of lying to the public and some of these stories were coming out but they were they were still not all out. Everything broke around 2004, 5, 6. We were not able to make this movie till now unfortunately because we didn't have the hard information about the inside of the administration. But fortunately there is a new page and uh, I think uh, Barack world mania right yes, now. But this is now, this is great, this is wonderful, I hope from the best, but Bush has changed the world more than anyone. We have to know what he did and understand his character because the next time this is going to happen and it's going to happen again and again, this desire for aggression, this desire for greed, this desire to go to war, it's going to come up again and again in American foreign policy. Bush is not going away, the ghost of Bush is with us. I feel you are more a journalist, a no. politician, no, no, no. and <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm mean, truly a, a, dra it's a great research. story. A, a dramatist has to be awake to this. Mm -hmm. This is urgent story. It's about now. This man became president with no qualification, and he used his media packaging, his cowboy image, John Wayne, and it worked with the American people. And look mm -hmm. at what he did. There's no, quite, there's no story quite like it. Uh, let me, uh, do you always prefer your political films? Because I had read that you, you prefer to focus on simple people than... Uh, yeah. Um, I like both. I think people who are uh, powerful. Uh, uh, I think of Bush as a Napoleonic figure. 